Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you are doing well. So today we will study the very first chapter from your NCRT book, class 7th. The name of the chapter is On Equality. India is a democratic country and every democratic country has certain key elements or features. And these features are, first is people's participation, which means people choose their representatives who work on their behalf. Second is resolution of conflict, which means if there is any conflict, then it is the responsibility of the judiciary to resolve it. Third key element of a democracy is equality and justice, which means everyone is equal before law. They get equal opportunities irrespective of their color, caste, creed or gender. So equality is a key feature of democracy and in this chapter you will read more about equality. What it is, why is it important in a democracy and whether or not everyone is equal in India. So basically this chapter starts with a story, a story of Kanta, a domestic helper. Actually she is standing in a line to cast her vote and she recognizes her employer Jan Saheb. She is excited to vote and happy that she is equal to all of the others because each of them has one vote. But as the day goes on, Kanta becomes less certain about what this equality really means. Actually, she lives in a slum and has a drain behind her house. Her daughter is sick, but she can't take the day off from her work because she needs to borrow money from her employers to take her child to the doctor. Actually, her job as a domestic help tires her out and finally she ends her day by again standing in a long line. Now, this line is in the front of the government hospital. So here she was wondering that her employers may stand in a line to vote, but they never have to do it when their children are sick. So she was uh, wondering that uh, whether this idea of equality is actually applicable in social setup or not. In a democratic country like India, everyone has equal right to vote and this is called universal adult franchise. Actually, the idea of universal adult franchise is based on the idea of equality because it states that every adult in a country, irrespective of their wealth and the communities she or he belongs to, has one vote. So universal adult franchise is actually universal is every citizen. And adult is anyone who is 18 years or above. And franchise is right to vote. So universal adult franchise means every citizen who is 18 years or above has the right to vote. People in India, apart from being poor, experience inequality in different ways. And one of the most common form of inequality in India is caste system. And here if you think that this form of inequality is not there in urban areas of India, then you are wrong. And you can see the matrimonials on the right hand side and you will see how important is the issue of caste. And it still continues to be in the minds of highly educated urban Indians. There are two real stories in this chapter that will show you how people experience inequality in India. First story is of Om Prakash Valmiki and second is of Mr. and Mrs. Ansari. Actually, the first story is about a Dalit boy named Om Prakash Valmiki. So before discussing this story, you all must know the meaning of the term Dalit. Dalit is a term that the so-called lower castes use to address themselves. Dalit means broken and by using this word, lower castes are pointing to how they were and continue to be seriously discriminated against. So this word Dalit is used by lower caste people to address themselves. Om Prakash Valmiki had to face inequality early in his life when he was in school. In his autobiography Juthan, he wrote, I had to sit away from the others in the class and that too on the floor. The mat ran out before reaching the spot I sat on. Sometimes I would have to sit way behind everybody right near the door. Sometimes they would beat me without any reason. So here as you can see that Om Prakash had to sit on the floor because he did not get mat. So sometimes he had to sit beside the door just out of the class and uh, the students, they used to beat him without any reason. So, uh, he also explained one of the incidents from his life when he was in class 4th. 
One day his headmaster asked Om Prakash to sweep the school and the playground. He swept the school and the playground the whole day. He was not even allowed to drink water. Om Prakash was made to sweep the school and the playground for the next couple of days. And this process came to an end when his father saw him one day cleaning the school. So here as you can see that he faced the issue of inequality early in his life. Why? Because he was a Dalit child. He belonged to a lower caste. The second story is of Mr. and Mrs. Ansari who were looking to rent an apartment in the city. And with the help of a property dealer, they visited the apartment. And the Ansaris liked it very much and decided to take it. However, when the landlady found out their names, she made an excuse about how she could rent the house to someone who ate meat because the building did not have any non-vegetarian residents. So now here, both the Ansaris and the property dealer, they were surprised to hear this because they could smell fish being cooked in the neighbor's house. So after that, they visited several other apartments also, but there also they were refused. So finally, the property dealer told them that they might want to change their names and call themselves Mr. and Mrs. Kumar. So uh, the reason why they did not get any apartment was that they belong to a lower caste. So these stories clearly indicate that inequality is still faced by many people in India and the one who faces this issue of inequality feels very bad just like Om Prakash and Mr. and Mrs. Ansari. And even B.R. Ambedkar, the founder of our constitution and who was a Dalit himself wrote, it is disgraceful to live at the cost of one's self-respect. Self-respect is the most vital factor in life. Without it, man is a cipher. To live worthily with self-respect, one has to overcome difficulties. It is out of hard and ceaseless struggle alone that one drives strength, confidence and recognition. So even B.R. Ambedkar believed that self-respect plays an important role in everyone's life. Without it, man is a cipher. Cipher means zero. Man is zero without self-respect. And to live with your self-respect, you have to overcome all the difficulties. And all the struggles of your life, they give you strength, confidence and recognition. Alright, so this is all for today and we will meet once again in the second part of this video where we will study the remaining part of this chapter. Till then, take care. Thank you.